Hey friends, welcome back to my agenda. If you're new here, then welcome. Can we just stop for a moment and like, a round of applause for my hair because these curls is popping a day. Anyways, this video is not about hair. It is absolutely about this nail set that I created and I'm super, super, super excited for you guys to see it. It's one of my favorite nail designs that I've ever created. Probably my favorite. <laughs> just because of the effort that went into it and the amount of time that it took me to create. It is a hand-painted nail design. It is hand-drawn onto the nail and then painted with gel polish. Some of you may have seen my Mermaid Mantra gel kit kind of swatch video. And when I made that video, I said, ooh, it reminds me of like unicorns, the colors. So I made a My Little Pony unicorn nail tutorial. I really, really hope that you'll stay tuned and watch it and check it out. It is super, super, super stinking cute. And yeah, I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell if you're interested in nail tutorial videos and growing a small Poshmark business because that's typically what I cover. Um, hair sometimes, lifestyle type stuff, but primarily it will be about nails and Poshmark. Anyways, without further ado, let's go on and get into this video because I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Thanks for being here. Just showing you some of the stuff I'm using. Like I said, I'm super, super excited. Look at the nails up under the light, y'all. We are going to do a little bit of education before we get into the video. Now, I am by no means an expert. I do draw, and it's just like a hobby that I've had since childhood. So I'm going to show you a very simple way of how to create a grid over a drawing so you can kind of grid draw onto your nail. So... Use something clear over your photo. It doesn't have to be on your cell phone. You could print it. Dry a grid over it, and then you're going to replicate this same grid. This is a grid that has six squares. You want to put six squares on your nail, which will be your canvas. As you can see, we have two on the top, two in the middle, and two on the bottom. Six squares. So ideally, you're just going to replicate what you see in each square versus drawing an entire picture you're drawing bits and pieces of a picture, which should make your process a little bit easier. I would suggest that when you're first starting, you're starting with bigger images, images that don't have as much detail, just because it'll keep you from being frustrated. I got frustrated with this. I have not drawn on a nail. So had I drawn this out right, I could have just visually looked at it without the grid and knocked it out. But again, trying to create it on something so small is a bit overwhelming, so take your time. I would say the entire process, the drawing to paint, all of that drying and setting and doing all of the different layers, took me probably about six and a half hours. Again, I'm new to this. I know that somebody that does this all the time could have knocked it out way quicker. But I really did enjoy the process. It was fun for me just to watch it come to life and pop. I would say be encouraged and don't stop. Everything you start with is, you know, going to be like the beginning. So it can only get better from there. Keep that in mind. And yeah, let's just have some fun. Now, I know, I know she don't look like much, but this whole process of drawing and painting is very much like doing your nails. When you first put on your nail tips, it doesn't look like much, but the more effort and the more time you, you know, take to put into it, it really does start to turn into something. So as you saw, I did erase, which is great. Using a mechanical pencil is wonderful because the tip of the pencil is so thin. So I would encourage that. Now we're going to get into painting and I want you to be mindful when you're painting, do this very, very, very thin and just layer your paint. That way, if you're making a mistake, it can semi be corrected because the paint is so thin at that point. You can go in and erase it with um, some acetone or you can paint over it. So all I did was outline my figures and then I started to color them in. And I did it again with a very, very, very thin layer of paint. this is the second coat I will say overall I think there might be five coats of paint and again 
take your time. We're not rushing. We're just trying to execute, execute, execute. And I did notice that I kind of drew my pony with a double chin, which I ended up taking care of at the end with some purple paint, just chiseling that thing out a bit. Again, I'm not looking for perfection at this point. It's my first time drawing on a nail. I was just really, really, really enjoying the creativity behind it and the fact that it didn't turn out like trash. I mean, to me, these are beautiful. Again, my favorite set that I've ever created. I don't know if that's because of how much time went into it or I just really, really, really love how it looked. I don't know, guys. It was just so much fun and I encourage you to give it a try. I wanted to mention that there are several ways of doing this. I did see a couple of other people creating their art and going in and getting rid of the grid underneath prior to painting. For me, I knew that my paint was going to end up pretty heavy, so I didn't worry about it. I wasn't using any type of sheer paint. Um, well, actually it is sheer, but again, I did it so many times. All the layers covered my lines, but you are welcome to erase your grid once you have your image placed on there the way that you want it's not necessary or mandatory but do whatever makes you happy if you're enjoying this video and you're learning something or you're just here to watch me draw and paint and color on nails make sure you comment something down below let me know what your thoughts are if you've done this before if you're being encouraged or if you know you're new to nails and this is just kind of cool for you either way make sure you comment Leave me something down there. Let me know what you're thinking. Again, thank you so much for being here. Take a moment to browse my channel. Subscribe if you're interested. Either way, we're glad you're here. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Now, you see me going in with multiple different colors you guys want to make sure that you're keeping your paint thin you don't want to accidentally flood an area and then things start bleeding and you don't want it to be lumpy and bumpy so please 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 remember to keep your paint thin it's gonna take some time to layer but i promise you the overall look is gonna be so worth it I am layering some polish because I wanted it to look like the night sky, which it kind of looks like in the actual photo. It is purple, really like a deep purple. So I used purple and then I went over it with a deep blue um, glitter color, which you'll see. I will be linking the colors below if you happen to watch my mermaid mantra um, review by Beatles. That is the polish set that I am using for this. I'm using my white out of my lavender violets collection and all the other colors are actually out of the mermaid mantra just in case you're interested at this point we are getting into layer number three for many of the colors i know it takes a while to kind of see the outcome but the more you add the more you'll start to see and your creation is just coming to life and it's so freaking exciting. I know um, the unicorn horn was like agitating me just because I felt like it wasn't ever going to get right. And what I wound up doing at the end, which you'll see, is going in with some 3D sculpting clay, which I guess is like 4D clay. By the way, that was my first time ever using it. So make sure you stay tuned because you're going to get to see what was my favorite part. And that just acts like definitely made the entire look pop. I was over there hollering, you know, when I got it on. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe I just did this. I was super, super excited, but stay tuned because you're definitely gonna get a look. 
also chime in and let me know again this was like my first time doing a hand painted design and i don't want these videos to be like ridiculously long unless you enjoy them i wanted to keep it around 20 minutes i didn't want to go over that um again had i added everything <laughs> the filming would have been well over like two hours i kind of sped things up and just cut because i didn't want to overwhelm anyone but i did want you guys to see the full picture of you know what went into this look i really 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 enjoyed it guys i've been brainstorming about my next idea i'm like ooh, should i do rugrats spongebob i've even been looking into like candy like I don't know guys, I really love the little Sour Patch Babies, the kids, I think they're so stinking cute and I was thinking I could like make that some type of sugar nail. Anyways, let me know what your ideas are down below. Again, keep in mind that I am drawing on a nail and I'm fairly, fairly, fairly new to this, like actually really new to this, like I said this is my first set, but yeah, if you have an idea of something that you'd like to see me draw, make sure you comment down below and I'll definitely, definitely consider. Okay guys, so I think some of these colors are getting close to coat number four or five. As you can see, the pencil marks are definitely starting to disappear. I am using darker colors to go in and make a couple of outlines. I still really need to go over the pony or unicorn, um, the My Little Pony, who is really a unicorn. I think this one is Princess Celestia. I'm not sure guys, I don't really keep up with it. I don't have small children or anything like that. But I do think they're really cute and pretty. Um, I will say I need smaller art brushes, so I'm placing an order with Amazon. Um, I did my best with the brushes that I have, but for some of the detail work, I definitely could have used a smaller, smaller, smaller brush. So my next video should be a little better because those brushes should be coming in hopefully when i order them they'll be here within like i don't know three or four days but again layer until your little heart is content and make sure you're doing the thin coats that way you can add more and more and more and it won't build up and be bulky also like i said it allows you to make corrections when your colors are not so heavy as you can see, I am working on the eyes. I will be very honest, the eyes can make or break any look, whether you're drawing, painting, coloring. The detail of the eye literally makes a look. So it's very, very, very hard to get the eyes right sometimes. And you can see the eye shape is actually a little bit off here. I narrowed and went upward and I should have narrowed and went downward which is fine, like I said, I'll get better as I go, but just be mindful of the eyes if you're gonna try to recreate a look because that is really what you know draws people in and that's where people are like, mm, that's off, and my eyes are off. I also gave four eyelashes instead of the three as pictured, but again, I wasn't striving for perfection, guys. I was just having a great time. I really, really, really did enjoy this. I can't even tell you guys how much I love doing this. I was laughing, giggling, just being a little kid as I was doing this the entire time. I did also, as mentioned, give my little pony a weird chin, kind of like a double chin. So I went back in later with some purple and made the correction. All I did was draw an upward line and it chiseled out that chin right here what you're seeing is the double chin type thing and at the end you'll see that I just created a line upward this is actually not the finished look so if you stay tuned to the end you'll see what I mean by like I hollowed out the chin a bit we are getting ready to create this blowing in the wind hair look it is not exactly as seen i did stay true to the colors however the design clearly was not going to trickle down word as it does in the picture so i just made the hair blow across the nails and it worked out you can also anytime you're creating or recreating art 
I said creating, like I was just speaking a little slow. <laughs> Anyways, guys, when you're recreating a look, you want to also stay true to yourself. So altering something and adding your own little touch is fine. Don't worry about that. It's just individualized. It's your art, whether you're recreating it or not. It's something that you're doing. So when someone says, that's not what it actually looks like, that's fine. I didn't want it to be an exact copy of something. I was recreating something like there's me still in that look. So the hair does look different, but I still loved it and I still do love it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the look as well. Apologies for being in and out of the frame at times. I was taking my glasses on and off for this look. Like, I was still kind of adjusting to the glasses anyway because I don't wear them as frequently as I should. I wear them during work and then I'm like, oh, I'm good. When in reality, no, for real, for real, I need to be wearing my glasses. So I was wearing them to draw and then I tried to take them off to paint and it was just like I had to keep pulling closer to myself and then backing up. I wound up putting the glasses on and just keeping them on and then later on that night I went to watch TV and my head was banging guys. I just like messed myself up with not being consistent with my glasses wearing. I am now creating a sky look. I'm going in with that deep purple from my mermaid mantra and I'm going to go over that look with the dark blue glitter color just kind of recreating the sky look that was in the original photo that I started using. That combination turned out so beautiful to me and you'll see that on my set that I created on the right side because my left hand and my right hand are going to be different but the look still blends very much so. But this is what I'm talking about right here. This deep purple with this blue glitter is just giving me life. You'll see it at the end. I'm in love guys. At this point, I'm just adding depth by using darker colors to create outlines and that kind of gives art a shape when you hollow things out, when you add blending and shading, the look starts to look a little more realistic. I just want to make a note that I absolutely cured in between going over the tops of these colors. So I don't want anyone ruining their brushes by going over wet polish because that's going to mix your colors and that is not what I did. I cured before I went over every color. We're starting to add small details, stars that are on the photo in her hair. It's just like a skyline. I have never seen this show I mean I saw it as a child myself but the more recent ones I haven't seen I don't know if this character is like floating in the sky because I've only seen the still images so we're going in with these holographic stars and this is where I start to really 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 have fun like the end of nail designs to me or getting up to the end is just like oh yes like what I saw in my head is coming to life and that is fun to me guys it's so fun I'd like let me know what is your favorite part of your nail design is it coming up with the idea like seeing the idea before it's done, creating the entire look, the end of that look. For me, it's always the last couple of finishing touches where I'm like, yes, girl, you did that. And that for me is just always so satisfying. Y'all, I really wanted to stay true and blend these two looks. So the darker color for the sky along the hair is what I chose to make the entire other set for my right hand. And then I wanted to kind of utilize this shape of 
the pony's neckline. The necklace kind of bends down into a crown shape. So that is what I decided to make my rhinestones do. I decided to kind of mimic that shape of her neckline. And yeah, it really worked out for me. I absolutely, absolutely love this look, guys. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and you know, what I could have, should have, maybe try again next time have done. Just because I know that, like I said, this is my first look like this. And you know, hindsight is 2020. There are a few things that in my head I would have changed up, but what do you think I could have done different or something that you would have done different to like make your look individual? I'm super interested. Let me know down below and we're almost done. Stay to the end because I am fixing and creating my first 3D look with this sculpting clay. Look at this guys. So I just balled it up and then I made like a thin little, I don't know, like a worm kind of I don't know a noodle worm whatever and I stuck it on there and then I'm using this silicone tool to create kind of like the ripples on a horn I mean I've never seen a real horn in life so I'm, I'm assuming that this is what a unicorn horn would kind of look like and I went over it with my gold chrome powder and at that point I was hollering y'all I was like ah made it oh my god look at this babe come check it out obviously he wasn't as excited as me but he was like yeah that's cute babe and I'm just like man you don't even get it I had to actually reach out I shot a picture of this to Nelly just because I was like girl look what I made and like I was just super excited because I wanted someone to get it the way that I got it and she's excited to see this so hey Nelly boo if you're watching make sure you comment down below which I know that you already will but just shout out thank you for looking at this with me when I got done with it. I was really excited to share with somebody that would understand. All right, so it is the completed look. Let me know what you think. I am dying to know your opinion, whether that be something good or bad, something constructive. Like I said, I'm still learning. I'm just happy that you're here, that you're watching. I really appreciate your time. I know it takes time to watch videos. So thank you so much. You guys make this channel grow. I really appreciate it. With that being said, if you're not subscribed, please consider. I create these nail looks and I share them with you guys just because I love it and I hope you enjoy watching. What do you guys think about this final look? Because that's what I really want to know. Now that you've seen it and you're looking at it, let me know down below. Anyway, guys, I'm about to get out of here. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure that you're kind, you're sharing love. And until next time, I will see you guys then. Bye.